Hi, hello, namaskara. Welcome to Yashwan Vlogs. Today we are here in Zion Horn Factory, a flower horn shop where you can get all sort of exotic flower horns, uh, kamfa, srd, or any you name any exotic variety of uh, uh, flower horn, you will get it here. Uh, so we are here with uh, Mr. Matthew, who is the owner of this uh, shop. So we'll go over to him and uh, ask him about all the fishes, stocks, what we have here. So, hello bro, uh, Hi, bro. thanks for having us here. Sure. So, please tell us about your shop and what are the varieties we are having. <laughs> uh, mainly, first tell the address of the shop so that people can uh, know where to come and how to come. So, if you are geographically known about the Zabiri location, then probably it will be easy for you to find out. Sure. If not, then you'll have to, the, the, the nearest landmark is uh, Jalali Cross or you take an example of Gangama Circle. From Jalari Cross, you will have to come towards Ayapa Temple and that's another 4-5 kilometers. Uh, but then if you're coming from Gangama Circle, it's hardly going to be a 2-3 kilometers. This is what the location is. And presently, we have only one outlet. Uh, this is the place over here. And we deliver the fish all over India. So it's available to major cities. And that's how we are in this location in Bangalore. So to inform you people, uh, I think this is one of the most exotic fish shop because here what the florans you get are some of, most of them are hand picked from thailand and uh, mr matthew himself has, uh, has visited thailand many time and he will bring the uh, fishes from there hand picked uh, am i correct yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it right. is hand picked so i have already seen the fishes here they are very vibrant and very good we will show you all each and every fishes that are available and another one thing is you can also order the fish online they will send it to you uh, yeah. to your places uh, charges will apply and uh, you can call him and uh, you'll give the information about that and uh, uh, so they can uh, yeah order online also right so let's start uh, the one you're seeing now is f2 camphor uh, in camphor we have generations of one two f0 f0.5 and all but usually f2 is what has been widely uh, you know accepted by all the sellers and hobbyists so this is an F2 camphor, you find the dual tone and the proper tail shape and the white eye and you'll also see the lips properly closed. Yeah. The next is what are called as a beautiful silk camphor. Okay, it's an amazing specimen. You can see the wrapped tail, the beauty of the fish is just in, you know, look at the tail, it's completely properly wrapped and the mouth or the eyes or the body shape you know a kamfa you know the proper standard of kamfa is what defined by this so it's an thai silk kamfa usually thai silk flower on usually the people see in all the shops somewhere else but then uh, we have bought a beautiful specimen of thai silk kamfa we were able to get these things because we directly went to thai recently in picking up the fish in video it might be looking very big enough but then it's hardly a size of four inches or 4.5 inches in size but then the present stock canvas we have got the size from 2.5 inches to up to four five six inches as well that's what it is and now the next you see a dual tone kamfa that's also a dual tone kamfa most of the kamfas are stressed because it's just been hardly two three days in indian waters okay. so it, it takes some time for them to get adapted and then move here and there and the uh, proper uh, thing but now it's just in a quarantine process so it will take some more time for them to get back to normal okay. the next is also a dual tone kamfa it's also an amazing good kamfa no, it's also dual tone. You can see the vertical lines, you know, the, the, the black lines. So that indicates that they are really stressed out. So it will take some time for them to get back to normal. The next, you will find a beautiful a red and yellow dual tone camphor. Yeah, this one is very beautiful, right? Yeah, it's actually a dark color of fish. It's an amazing fish. So just that it's just stressed and just hiding behind the uh, tank. Yeah. So... Now it will take some more time for them to just slightly recover. Okay. This is golden yellow base, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And next we have a proper dual tone. The wrapped tail is so thick enough for this fish. I'm just stressed out because we just switched on the lights yeah, after yeah. a dark time. Usually during quarantine, we usually off the lights. So suddenly then since the light was on, the fishes have just fallen stress. Okay. So this one is that's a, a GB kamfa. We call it as golden base kamfa. But uh, this one is very beautiful and golden base color, right? Red yeah, and a, yellow. Yeah, uh, it's actually red and yellow. That's how it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful fish. One of the most demanded sort of variety. Also. Yeah, there is a demanded sort of variety because of the coloration and the pearl markings. Okay. So GBs are really well. 
Are Kamfa defined based on their pearl markings or both? Can, uh, no, pearl marking is just an additional, additional you know, uh, bonus point where we call it as. Okay. Because Kamfas are typically known by their body shape and structure. Okay. You know, they are allowed to have a proper tail bone wrapped and then their pearl markings and their colorations and their face markings. The lips has to be not just going one front and another front. It has to be properly evenly closed. So there are, so a, lot there are a lot of parameters which you really need to look into the fishes. Oh. Because comfers are not just that easy to just define, but then it takes a longer time for you also to just check out for the good comfers. Yeah. Now everybody, even the SRDs have been sold as comfers in the present market, yeah. but it's not that way. Uh, comfers are always a special and a unique specimen. Their colorations are very good actually. Yeah, of course, you know, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing quality. So, this one, bro? Uh, bro, this is also a Kamfa F2 generations. Okay. This is also a good Kamfa. The white complete pearl and the red emerges out of it. No. It's a good one. This one? This and one this is an F2 Kamfa. F2, F1, S2, are those a generation or what it is? Like? Yeah, those are generations of Kamfas, you know. F1 is, a, is, is more or like a kind of uh, just to get a picked up from the raw parent okay. and then from then you know comfort generation is something typically you need to understand about it mm. so comfort generation is a kind of good generation uh, concept where you need to really know about each and everything you know if and all if, if and if all if you have time then probably we'll talk about that in the upcoming days of videos okay. because comfort generation is something you need to really learn about it because it starts from f0 f0 or, or you know the, the raw material is from the wild bija or okay. bija varieties and then it is crossbreeded and that's how see look at this kamfa it's so beautiful it is it's a white eye kamfa you know uh, let's see uh, you will you'll have a good head portion of it also just that it is just stressed out now but the, its coloration is very good, right? Yeah, it's it's a beautiful color, you know. You Look know, at this that. is also a kamfa. This is red yeah. and red base. Or yeah, what? red base kamfa. Red base kamfa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we have a GB kamfa. This is a GB kamfa over here. Yeah. Many people who come here are uh, the customers uh, are fond of this fish. Many were asking about yeah. right? So GBs are something, you know, golden base is something you get a bit rare variety. Uh, yeah, it's typically uh, seen everywhere, but then a proper quality kamfa is what you need to handpick it after a long time because we were able to get this kind of good stuff because we really, like we personally visited and handpicked most of the fishers because most of the silent business is dependent on China customers. So, though they pick it up before even you go and pick it up. Pick it up. The dorsal fins are excellent. So good, yeah. And this is also a, this is normal Thai silk and this is a silk kamfa. This one is a silk kampha again. Yeah, there's also white silk kampha. Look at the, the, the eyes is also so white enough yeah. and it's a proper fish. Uh, the fish might look a bit, as I said, you know, it might look a bit bigger, but then it is absolutely not bigger. Yeah. It's quite small enough. Just a three inch, I think so. Yeah, right. hardly three inch. Yeah. Even this one looks very good. That's an also F2 kampha. It is also a pretty good kampha. They will, uh, colors will pop up uh, still, right? As these are new and in quarantine stage. Yes, the colors will really pop up good. Okay. Just that it is just in a quarantine stage, it is taking some time for them to showcase their original potential. Okay. Actually, they are for good coloration fishers. They are really a good color fishers. As days goes on, as they get adapted to Indian waters, okay. it will really open up good. Yeah. This is an Nifto Kamfa, an orange based Kamfa. It's a very good fish. And next, there's a Thai silk Kamfa. This one is also very good. Yeah, what is it's face marking, good. nose marking, and all you were telling, right? For some customer. What is yeah. that actually? Most of the fishers, when they have something, some markings on their nose, okay. I'll, if, if I come across, you know, I'll show you the fishers top. There are a few fishes with good nose markings also. Those are all called as, you know, additional bonus for them. So, see, example, this is also a good fish. Okay. It's and just, in this thigh silk, I think the, the plus is that it has a black spots on it, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Usually, yeah. Uh, the thigh silks will not have. Yeah, idea. usually most of the thigh silk will not have. Few thigh silk will have this black dot on their uh, tail uh, bone. Yeah. That's a bit the rare fish. See, this is also a good kamfa. I have to kamfa, you can see. The head is yet to pump up. It's actually a good potential fish. 
Uh, just the thing is that, you know, the head has to pump up. So probably it might take some time for them to showcase their potential. Actually, if you see people here, the fish difference, color difference, the fish which I'm going to show now is like a hell. It is top-notch red colored fish, super fish. What is this fish actually? Even this is a kamfa, right? Yeah, this is a beautiful uh, a red chili, a red chili red kamfa. Uh, this is one of its kind. You know, we usually don't find this kind of beautiful fish. Look at the way it is. You know, people might think you know whether they have saturated or edited. No, no, no. Uh, now it's absolutely the background are completely of white lights. Yeah. The coloration is that devil red, chili red. It's a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish. And I could see the white eye yeah. and the tail perfect. You know, the fish is hardly three inches. Yeah. It's not bigger than that. It's just hardly three inches. But so so good fish. enough. Yeah, it's so good enough. This one, uh... and this is also a red base kamfa. In this, you have some nose markings as well. Most of the things, fishes, as I said, you they were like stressed out, and then it takes some time for yeah. them to recover completely. Yeah. You can see. This one is actually also. Yeah. And now you I have. Think you usually will have this amount of stock always. Eh? Yeah, always. You know, we every monthly one or twice we get the shipments from Thailand. Every shipments will have their own peculiar uh, selection of fishes what we get from Thailand. Uh, every time minimum not less than 80, 90 kamfas or even if you are talking about SRDs. SRDs we don't do this at this season because it's rainy and then yeah, yeah. the climate is too bad enough. So it's too risky for us to hold hold them out from the sickness. Mm. So we don't usually prefer SRDs in the season. We basically get more growth of kamfas because we, we get some good farm we always don't take it from any other farm randomly from thailand oh. we have few selected handpicked kamfa farms which which are very well reputed uh, names in the thailand market and who are really having a good face value among the market so we just pick it from them so when you're picking from them you know you, know, you are not allowed to pick one or two fishes you know you're not yeah. to pick it up in a bulk quantity and that's when they when they will allow you to select the fishes if not you know what they give is what you need to take yeah, yeah. so when usually Ma maximum we, of the uh, people will do actually directly get just on the phone itself right yeah and picking most of people them, are very less yeah most of them just directly visit uh, uh, their uh, you know their profile or their chat yeah. and then instagram and they contact them and they buy it up from them. Yeah. But as you said, you know, it's very less that we directly go and hand pick the fishes from Thailand and bring it. Uh, yeah, because but, this, the thing is like, because it's too cost efficient, you know, when you're traveling all the way from here to another uh, yeah. country, the, uh, the, the, the flight charges or your accommodation charges, everything has to be covered. Yeah. Uh, so uh, most of them doesn't like it because of the expenses of traveling and getting it the fishes. But we usually travel and we buy the fishes, not oftenly, but at least uh, three months once or five months once. But it has its own perks, it. right? So that you can handpick whichever fish you Correct. want. Correct. Yeah. So it is having its uh, its own, you know, um, advantages that you have a good good wrapper with them. Yeah. You can you can you know pick up the fish what you like, and most of the fishes are you know most of the fish what you see over here in Indian uh, market is not that good enough as what you're seeing yeah. now. Say example, you could see this chili red fish. You know, it's, that is that that amazing that you know uh, nobody would really want to give this guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's so amazing specimen. He's so red, top notch red. People might think we have saturated this in editing, so I will show them both the fishes here, so that they can know the coloration of the fish actually, which we are showing. It's very beautiful actually. Actually, Even the lips are colored red, so <laughs> it looks like it's just like, like you know, uh, they have dipped it in the yeah. paint. Very, very good quality. The quality is top notch here, so we can come and easily pick all the information people need to get a fish. You will give them right if they come here and they can call you anytime and they can, yeah, sure, them. sure, sure. You know, we're all looking the fishes in their videos if at all they wanted to buy something. Yeah. If they want to buy some fishes from them, they are most welcome. Yeah, they can pick it up. Then I will add your number in description so that people can just take a look and call you. Can see one of my doubt is so if now if I if just if we think that I will buy this fish, mm -hmm. will this color remain in if I take and put it in my water also? Or what is the thing we have we have to do to retain this color? And I think see 
basically you know, any fish even if it's a gold fish yeah. if your water is too good you know yeah. you'll not have any issues okay. if and only if you don't have a proper water maintenance or you don't give a food you know natural food or good good quality of foods is what you when you face the problem is because basically fishers you need to have a proper proper atmosphere for them and each and every instrument what you're adding in the tank is also it matters a lot you cannot just add see the other thing what you can notice in my farm is even if it's a bigger tank like five feet four feet uh. you will not have any power filters yeah you'll just have a small normal small sponge, sponge, sponge filters yeah. why is that because when you use a power filter the water current in the tank will be too high yeah. and the fish will really fall stress to swim in the opposite direction of the tank so if that is the thing then usually gradually the fish will fall more stress and the potential will be broken down broken. into pieces and you can never expect a good fish so in the same way not just the fish even your tank setup and what food are you giving you cannot buy a, a good fish and then by you know feed them a small yeah. normal average fish food a fish food doesn't it gets it doesn't mean that can be given to every fish every fish has has its own nutritious value which is required so in that way the fish what you are purchasing we would give you suggestions about what are the fish foods you need to buy and how are the water parameters to be taken so it is all about it is not just you know how important it is that to import, you know buying a fish the same and more than that the importance is has to be given for the nutritious value food and the way you keep the tank and also what is the tank mates of course you cannot keep any tank mates for this flower on fishers but then what are all instruments or equipments what you can add it in the tank everything matters a lot it's just not the fish what you take second thing about coloring you know uh, this color even if you look in the darker side it all it is the same so when you take it up why would there be a problem in the coloration when it comes to your places if and only if you don't have if you're having normal water like say example some bow waters or you know filter waters is absolutely okay no problem you will not face any difficulties if and only if you by chance use any kind of chlorinated water you know what we call as bleaching powder bleaching by chance if you have any chlorinated water is what that is when you will face a huge problem you unless and until you don't use it you know you are safe enough but the chlorination is that negative for the fishes that it might lose its color or it might even lose its own life mm -hmm. so this is only two things which can happen in the fish kingdom uh, when you compare about the you know uh, the, the water Coloring. quality so we'll go for next mm -hmm. so this one is this is a gb kampa okay. uh, golden base kampa uh, just stress as i said it's white eye kampa so it's a good kampa you can what actually what's the difference between white eyes and red eyes actually uh it is just an you know eye coloration or eye mutation so it's uh, will cost you know, differ based on that cost might vary with differing on their colorations as well differing on their colorations as well just that you know uh, you know this is the original size of this fish so it's very small but then in video it might look good. yeah yeah because so coming back to the coloration know. yes colorations and the eyes also would differ in the pricing hmm. again it all depends on customers based customers based to base hmm. This one is a GB, right? Golden base. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a GB, and that, that the next one is also a GB. These are all three inches, three three and a half inches. Three three and a half inches. Maximum three three and a half inches is the size. All the fishes which we are showing here is between two point five to three four inches only. That's it. Uh, it might look bigger in video, but uh, all are smaller ones. This one is. This is also a GB kampa, oh. and the other one is a classic kampa. Sometimes I think the pearls without pearls fish also look good, right? Yeah, see, few customers taste is like that. Yeah. You know, they wanted just a normal. Uh, they wanted a good fish without pearls. Most of them doesn't like pearls, and few would like pearls. It's a G. It's a classic kampa. Classic varieties are the varieties where you don't have uh, too much pearls to pearls be shown. Yeah, uh, they are basically a classic variety. So that's how their name have come. Okay. Uh, it's If a beautiful kampa. They don't kampa. have much pearls. They are classic. Classic, yes. You know, it's a beautiful kampa. The, the body and the tail and the bird and the mouth is absolutely fine and the tail is also perfectly aligned and it's How a white egg kampa even kampas will get that big head ha yeah there are the, it again yeah head. there are kampas which can get a good cock head also okay. it all depends on the way it is it's all also depend on the genetics okay. most of the kampas gets a head more than sd is also okay. again it all depends on the uh, genetics and what genetically they are from and this fish is also good. Yeah, this is also good. Just that the head has to come up properly. 
வெரி குட் so if you want the fishers just uh, contact to them they will you can contact to them whatsapp and they will show you through video and then you can uh, purchase the fishers correct right yes yes yeah. yes now you can you can easily come up with a, if you have any requirements please to uh, give your details about your requirements and if you were for all you like any fishers you can pre book them and before even they are getting sold out oh. Okay, this one is uh, Thai Silk. Yeah, this right? is Thai Silk Kampha. This has already been booked by a Mysore customer. Okay. Uh, now it has to be given, delivered to them. This one is booked already. So, mm-hmm. so this one? This is also a red base Kampha white eye. It's right, a good it's Kampha. A, it's around uh, 3 inches, right? Yeah. The next is an amazing Kampha. Oh. Mm. Yeah. the wild eye so and this is day. also around uh, 3 inch yeah that's all the sizes uh-huh. you know the video might look good very good <laughs> big enough but it's very very because small. that's because i am zooming it so that the fishes uh, seen pearls might be yeah, seen yeah but yeah. no, they are aggressive yeah they are very aggressive this one it's a red base kampha this one will come under classic or it is a uh, this one Oh, it's a red base comfort it's not oh, classic okay classic means no pearls only yeah yeah this coloration would be there but this has a lot of pearls oh that's a perfect comfort this that you know it adds to pump up oh. very good fish it's a very very good fish and high potential fish yeah high that. potential fish. yeah the crossed pearls and the markings and the, the markings are image. very good even in the tail the markings are very good right just like someone has poured out those pearls on their body yeah the last one is uh, that in the again that's a gb kampha okay. it has to just come out of stress it will take some time for them okay. what is the life span actually of this fish is what kampha is life span all uh, any fish for that matter depends on the way we take care okay. usually the, they stay up to 5 years or 5 6 years also and beyond that also depending upon the maintenance what you have maintained them and how have you taken care of them what food type of you will be given not just you know putting out all the end of foods which is available in the market uh, it all depends on the way we take care of sure. i had a one with five and a half years of life span actually wow. it was a very good one so even this is a, a three three and a half inch. yeah that's a white kampha with white eye white and you will find yeah you will find some pearls on their nose as well mm. that's also a good kampha yeah it has pearls on also here yeah pretty good kampha this is a red base kampha what you're seeing now damn color devil fish no the, the the stress band is still there yeah. uh, after some time probably after 2 3 days more uh, they would be absolutely fine from the stress and they'll be ready to sail the color difference is also hell way yeah color right? amazing color difference at this time oh this one is also top notch and it is aggressive the fish what you're seeing now is already sold to coil i'm sorry okay. yeah sankaran coil it was it is actually given for a hospital okay. so they just wanted a fish from for a uh, display ma- tank so they've already purchased a couple of fishes from us okay. and this is the third fish which they have taken from us and now this has to be delivered on 27th or 28th of okay. this month it's an amazing f2 camphor the next is another red dual um, base uh, double flower line the flower marking on the body what you're seeing this you is a rare see, band right uh, yeah rare band uh, most of them would not be having and then it is very rare to find out these kind of coloration of mutation species uh, at the present indian market because we were able to just go directly and pick it up some good stuff we are able to get this kind of fishes it is a very good color and uh, active also they are very active even they are resident newly came fish the color difference is also very high here yeah and this one is white or uh, yeah it's actually a, uh, it has a it had a very good head fish okay. but just because it is stressed now the heads are not been seen properly 
Oh, the next is another Kampha which is already booked for Chennai customer. Okay. So just waiting for the delivery date. It's an amazing F2, good, good. Color is oh, high. amazing color and a good high potential of head also. So at this portion, just look at the tailbone, it's properly covered and even foot parts. No, some tell that SRD tail. will get more head compared to Kampha. Kampha, they will not get a very big head. It is like that or so? Ah, usually that is there. As you said, that point is actually valued. Okay. Uh, most of the Kamphas would not have high potential head okay. uh, because of their genetically, basically. But their, their ancestors. Yeah, their ancestors. Say example, from where have they come, the parent. Okay. That matters a lot. Most of the Kampha parents will not have a good head because the females are like, you know, most of them are wild species. Okay. Uh, if at all, if I get, a, get some time to of explaining about the genetics of Kamphas, I'll for sure do it in the upcoming videos if some... By if you get a chance to do it, uh, because Kamphas genetics are, you know, that's when, when people will really understand about how does their Kamphas really been produced and why is it valued so much. Because why Kamphas are valued is because if a batch is producing, say, example, thousand babies, all the thousand babies would not be looking really, yeah. you know, good or all the thousand babies will not be uh, accepted as Kamphas. Only few of them would be accepted as Kamphas typically. So that's the basic reason behind behind the value of it, the high price because of that, because of the availability. And uh, also all the Kamphas which is in the Thailand market are not good or all the fishes will not be, be a champion. Yeah. So it takes a really hard time for the seller and the groomers to get the fish to this quantity of uh, quality. Um, it's, it's, it's actually, you know, uh, it's purely or hard working and then the way you take care of the fish matters a lot. Is there any chance you will do a competition of flora? We have done, actually I forgot to say you that, yeah. you know, that we have a group called as Bangalore, Bangalore Floron Federation. Okay. We have done the um, uh, you know, competition uh, by last year, August uh, 15th. Okay. For August 15th, we organized a competition online and there were close to 600 plus participants. Okay. And there were grand champions and champions and the participants were all over from all over India. Okay. So it was amazing competition where most of them were like able to, uh, you know, view most of the fishes. So it was actually we are we are there and we are organizing now and then competitions. But then we are planning for some offline competitions, also live competitions, what we are talking about, uh -huh. which might take some time for us to do. This year also there will be a competition. Yeah. So this one is a very small fish, yeah, but it has a very good potential head and See? all. The fish is not even a finger size. Yeah. Exactly, that's the size. So yeah. It is very small. As I said, in YouTube video or the video on camera, it might look very big. Yeah. It's hardly this size. Yeah. And now it gets covered up. This is a F2 dual tone camphor. Yeah. It's having a good high potential. It is a white eye camphor, for sure. And look at the body proportion. It is also it's amazing, amazing. out of the box. So it's a, it's a good piece. As I said, you now you have huge varieties of options for customers who wants to come and pick up some good fishes. It's the right time, in fact, for them to come and pick yeah. up the fishes. <clears throat> this fish is called uh, Kampha. It's one of my personal collection. This was actually given for one of my close customer. So since they were getting out of uh, country, so they asked me to take care. I said, okay, I will buy it back. I wanted, I usually will have one big boy in my farm. So yeah. He's been a big boy at the farm for now and we're keeping him, keeping him and I'm taking care of him. So we're giving him a good space for him to swim around. He's a big boy of our uh, farm. Even the head is very big. <laughs> yeah, usually they say Kampha doesn't have a good head. It all depends on the genetics. Yeah, it's not about Kampha's will never have a head. It will have a head. It all depends on the genetically, how strong are they and what are their parents are from. Yeah. So that matters a lot. So this one? This is also F2 Kampha. That's also what you're seeing now is a kampha. This one, red color one? Uh, it's a red base kampha. Okay. Red base. So it is having a good strong red base color on your body. Okay. That's why it is called as red base kampha. All the kamphas are you know, unique. The tail shape is part. also awesome. Yeah, the tail should be very good. This one is classic kampha. Uh, it's a classic boy. And I love that color, you know, it's reddish pink, yeah. yellow and color, right? <laughs> that uh, coloration is something phenomenal. Yeah, it looks very good. Not all the fish would really look good, you know, in but for basically. those uh, floral enthusiasts, your shop is like heaven. <laughs> <laughs>
because we personally see since yeah. i have started from a hobby so even a day before the day even i would i, I was on hobby so yeah. i personally get everything as i you know go to a shop and collect yeah. so for a per day i used to visit only one farm in thailand yeah. so that was we we are staying for a, such a mm. long time uh, so we have hardly visited farms uh, now hand countable you know you could just count with your fingers you know so that's what the counting level or the farm level what we have visited because we were peculiar on selection because we have come so far and we have a lot of customer waiting over there for our fishes because i can show you many customers example who are waiting for the fishes from more than a seven eight months especially for silk kamfa i had a customer whom i given to mysore he was waiting from since a year because i didn't get the you know touch about the good kamfa because personally when i see some farm so i allowed to, i allowed to do a basic r and d before even getting into a business because after getting into a business or after stepping into a business you cannot just blame anyone yeah. right so as a as a business terms you will have to be really clean enough and about where are you picking up and you need to have a real knowledge sense about where are what are you doing enough yeah. so in that manner so i was very very particular in picking up the fishes from the farms so this all, body proportion also for this fish is very, very good and awesome right yeah you know the size you know if anyone is looking at it just share the size of the video this is also hardly 2.5 to 3 yeah, inches yeah we'll just zoom out so that we they can get to know i have to zoom in so that it we can see the full look of the fish hardly yeah yeah <laughs> it's hardly 2.5 to 3 inches yeah. then the devil so, this is <laughs> it's a red devil <laughs> i mean it's not red devil texas wise huh. it's not a chiclet it's a kamfa <laughs> because that's a red devil texas look this at that this is also a top notch quality and this uh, like videos what you're seeing now even if you do a video call and show me i'll switch off the white light you know uh, the background is not about any kind of colorations huh. it is just of a white light and the coloration is that devil enough Yes, you can see the difference when I if we show. That's punching out. <laughs> yeah, and this is very good color, and even pearls are not so more. And this is this looks very good, right? If yeah. It is around when it becomes around five, four and after five inch, it looks very good. It will be really looking very good. Yeah, you you said it right. You said it right. It will be really looking good. Yeah. Just that you need to give some patience of time, and then you need to you need to have patience. Yeah. You know, grooming kamfa is not that easy. It's just like grooming an athlete. Yeah. So you need to have patience, enough patience, and enough time. You need to give them a perfect time for them to get settled down, and then you have to show. This is another kamfa F2 where you have a huge variety of pearl loaded fishes. This fishes pearls are just dumped enough, and it's just you know there's not even a space where it's left out without pearls. Yeah. That's the way. This is also around three and a half, four inches. Ah, right? yeah, four inches, four, four point five inches of fishes. Uh, this one is a GB, I think. So. This is a dual tone white eye camphor. Yeah. This is a white eye camphor, and because it is zoomed in, it might look really big enough. Actually, the size is very, very small. Very small. Very it's small. It's also just an inch, a three inch, I think. So. Yeah. Just I want to show the color coloration and pearls on it, so I will zoom it. This is also very good. Yellow, red, and uh, black uh, tone the fish, right? Yeah. I think behind this also there are some fishes. Yeah, it is like front and back. Yeah. So we have added front and back, so you can see the fishes front and then back as well. I think it's feeding time for them. They all became active at once. <laughs> yeah, it is their feeding time. So now they just pump out and they were waiting for their meal. Uh, I think personally, I like this fish so much. <laughs> Even though they don't have a lot, uh, most of the scales, that means uh, pearls, but this one is very, See, very good. That's the beauty of Floron, you know, every fish is unique in its own way. Say example, you take SRD, SRD almost remains the same. Every yeah. fishes of SRDs will be looking the same, so more or less. Only at the Kamfa point of view, you know, fishes are like, you know, unique at its own way. The, 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 the colorations, their body markings, everything seems to be, you know, uh, different by its own way and then you need to have a proper knowledge in selecting them as well. You cannot just go randomly pick some fish and say it is kamfa or like so on. So on. 
because every fish needs it, you need to have a proper knowledge and a guidance uh, because after buying the fishes i can see many customers without knowledge they go buy from someone else and then they regret for it for a longer time but yeah. so that's absolutely no point in doing and in these that these are also exotic and costly fishes right yeah absolutely you know every fishes are you know uh, having its own value yeah. uh, because since at this time we have been picking up the fishes from thailand uh, most of the stocks were supposed to go to china and philippines yeah. but we have bypassed them and then when we have got it of course it's having its own value and the pricing is also you know peculiarly in a higher part when compared to them this the, is has some heart shapes on it uh, pearls heart shape pearls yeah most of the fishes you know will have numbers yeah. <laughs> so that's why they call you usually usually call them as lucky fishes is because most of them most of the camphas and florons will have that you know a few markings and the numbers or few letters i have seen i have been you know come across fishes who had the na- names uh, like say example initials yeah. or alphabets and uh, numbers on their body and their pearl markings there have been fishes like that we'll move to the next yeah we sell so which little bit under stress i think ah yeah mostly they are under stress because they are still under their quarantine process okay. they are yet to complete it so we the head do chennai this one is uh, this one also has a good head right yeah 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 just that you know you have switched on the lights yeah. they have they are they have fallen stress if not they 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 have a good high and now what you're seeing is, is a kamfa they are good actually now what you're seeing now is a kamfa this one huh? yeah they are kamfas you have a damn toleration mm-hmm. This one is a female or a male this one. No, it's absolutely a male. Just that it's very small, oh, yeah. hardly 2.5 inches. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they might look like that, but then it is absolutely males because yeah. females are more expensive yeah. and you know because uh, if say example if you are getting 100 you're if you're getting 100 uh, female kamfas. Yeah. In that 100 female kamfas hardly hardly uh, two or three would lay the eggs. Okay. So uh, female kamfas usually they don't sell it out. Okay. You no know, Thailand breeders, they don't give it out. Okay. They most most probably they will keep it at their own place and yeah, they will not sell not, it out. Yeah. Because that is the income source for them, also, right? Yeah, it also like it is also a lineage. Yeah. Uh, so they don't want to give up their lineage out. Yeah. So brother, how is the experience in uh, Zion Horn Factory? So how many times have you come here? actually uh, uh, the recommendation i got from youtube channel from this youtube channel itself uh-huh. and the first time i visited i was really impressed with the quality that uh, zion sir provides yeah. so i uh, till now i have taken at least three fishes from this uh, place just because of the quality and because of the pricing and i'm very much impressed by the hospitality provided by zion sir and i would recommend this place to almost all the flower and hobbies because it's like a heaven actually oh, yeah. uh so are you regular here and uh, yeah yeah from 3 uh, weeks i'm regular here because of the youtube channel i got to know about this place yeah. so i'm coming regularly every week to check about the stock and i every time i come i purchase at least four <laughs> yeah. that happens thank you thank you so much for your thank interest. you so brother heli ni manasike bage heli ili zion horn factory bage uh first of all thanks to zion yake okay. antandre uh now nandu bandu belgam district ko so now yene one condition agli belgi ed nan routine eno antandre nan first nan kan bida kan aasode antandre first nan pet uh, fish nan aquarium ge hogtini adara daily routine nortini uru godaga enge yenu anta even nan bangalore alli idru kuda ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯವ್ರಿಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಹೌಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬೇಸಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾನು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಜೀವನ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕಾಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಈ ಥರ ಇದೆ ಈ ಥರ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ನು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಸಜೆಷನ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ಅದರ ಬಾಡಿ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಾನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದು ನನ್ನ ಫಿಶ್ಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ನನ್ನ ಫಿಶ್ಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಫಿಶ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ನೋಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಫಿಲ್ಟರು ನಾನು ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಸರಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ನಾನು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಫುಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ನು ಫುಡ್ ಇನ್ನ ಒಂದ್ ಮಂತ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾನು ಈ ತರ ಅದ್ರ ಬಾಡಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಾನು ವಿಡಿಯೋನೇ ಕಳಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಫಿಶ್ ಈ ತರ ಇದೆ ಇವಾಗ ಈ ತರ ಇದೆ ಜೀವನ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಯೂ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಅವ್ರು ಕಳಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದೇ ತರ ಇದೇ 
ಇವಾಗ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಪಪ್ಪಿ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಂದು ಅದನ್ನು ದೊಡ್ಡದಾಗಿ ಯಾವ ಥರ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಹೆಂಗಿರುತ್ತೋ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಅದರದ್ದೇ ಆದಂಥ ಕೆಲವೊಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಆ ಥರ ನಾನು ಅದು ಹೋಗ್ತೀನಿ ಬಟ್ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಏನಂತಾರೆ ನನ್ನ ನಾನು ಫಿಶ್ ಆಬಿಯಸ್ಟೆ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಬೆಟ್ಟಾಸ್ ಇಂದ ಹಿಡಿದು ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಸಾಕಿದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಎಫ್ ಎಚ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ಲಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಫುಲ್ ಮೂನ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫಿಶ್ ಅದೆಲ್ಲಾನು ಸಾಕಿದೀನಿ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಿಯೋನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ 